Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and we are rebuilding Newcrest. This is Bloomcrest, every lot increases in price and we are so close to being done this, you guys. I'm so excited. We're back after a short break and today we're gonna be building a $2 million home for the twins. I am so excited to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored once again by Udi. If you click on the link in the description, you can use code SIDMAC at checkout to save $35 off your new purchase and join the Odi gang with me. This is my purple bunny Odi. You guys have seen me rocking this before. It's so cute with the little design on there. Odi is perfect for gamers because it has the wrist cuffs that are perfect for a comfortable gaming experience. The large pockets on the front are perfect for holding your controller or snacks, all while wrapped up in this cozy, warm Sherpa fleece blanket hoodie. They also have really soft and cozy PJ sets that I've been loving for warmer nights lately. I like wearing something a little bit lighter to bed, so this is amazing. Thank you again to Udi for sponsoring this video. I love my Udi. If you guys want to get your own Udi like me, you can click on the link in the description. Use that code SIDMAC at checkout for $35 off your new purchase or 25% off in Norway. So click that link in the description, use my code SIDMAC, and thank you again to Udi for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. I have an entire playlist down below where you can watch all of the builds in this series, listen to all the stories and the lore. I'll link that down below so you guys can check that out. If you've been following our storyline here, we've got Anna and Theo. They're kind of our main family in all of this. They had twins and they have just aged up into teenagers. Violet looks so cute. She looks just like Anna. She. We're going to get into a little bit of the lore behind them uh, in a minute as well. And then we have Ash over here. They turned out so cute. I had so much fun giving them makeovers. I saw in the comments that you guys had this really fun idea where we do the $2 million house for the twins. This way we can kind of include like two homes in one and that's exactly what we're going to do today. I'm going to be building a massive house. This is going to take quite some time but we're going to try and split it in two. So whatever we come up with today is going to be split as like one apartment and the other apartment in one house for each twin. It's been a long week you guys. Okay we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna catch up with you in a little bit but let's get this shell out of the way. So in this video today how I think I'm gonna do this build and the rest of the builds in this series I think we're gonna split it up into two parts for the remaining builds because this is huge. First of all this is gonna be a massive build and two million simoleons in the Sims 4 to spend is a lot okay like we are really in the thick of it now. This is gonna be the hardest part of the build challenge that we've been doing. So today we're only going to be doing the exterior. This is honestly how I'm going to keep my sanity and be able to get through this. It's also going to allow me to post a little bit more frequently. These builds take me a really, really long time to film. So we are going to be splitting them up in the next video. We'll do the inside of this thing. But the general shape that I want this to be is like wrapping around this way. We're on a corner lot here. And I feel like that's going to be the best way for me to get the most room for each thing. So right now I'm kind of just making a general shape. I'm probably going to have to expand on this and add like different bump outs. It's kind of a disaster right now. But the one thing I was thinking is I kind of want there to be a little bit of a bridge here. We can do a bridge leading through to like the backyard and then the main backyard area will be here. And also hear me out. What if we went and did like a wall? What? My thought for these Sims that like up until this point, we've been very traditional in the way that we've been making money for our Sims. They've been making making most of their money through like gardening, landscaping, bartending, etc. But I want our twins to have a little bit more of a modern storyline. So the build that we're going to build for them on the outside is going to be matching like the vibe of the overall like neighborhood that we've been building in. But on the inside, I really want to bring in some more like modern elements. I want them to make their money in a more modern way than their parents. So we're really going to bring that in. I want to set them up so that they're going to have like all the skills and all the necessities that they're gonna need to make money. Like Anna and Theo, the parents, are going to be setting these twins up. They're gonna be really spoiled. They're gonna have everything ready to go for them, which is a total different vibe than we've had with Anna and Theo. They kind of had to like work for what they had. The twins, not so much. It's not gonna be so difficult for them. So obviously we're gonna see a very different lifestyle between the two of them. This is a general shape here for my shell so far. I think I'm gonna be like adding bump outs 
in here. I do want to do another floor. We're going to go all the way up three floors. This is another reason why I was like, you know what? I think this is going to be uh, enough for one video to do just the exterior because the last video was like 40 minutes long and I can't do that to you guys again. I can't do that for my sanity either. So I think this is going to be a good way, but let me know if you guys would prefer to see it all in one video. But I think for my shelf for now, I'm just going to kind of keep tracing the parts that I've already put. And then I'm going to go in and like trace some bump outs later for balconies and entrances and stuff like that. Look how big this thing is. Okay. So this part in the back was where I was thinking we could have a little bit of a bridge. I'm going to go in right away and start adding archways and stuff so we can sort of visualize what we're going to be doing. I think I want to use this arch here from vampires. We're going to use these and we're going to make our bridge here. I think I'm going to have to adjust this part a little more because I want a little bit more room. I want to fit three archways right on in there. I'm not even going to worry about the interior at this point because it's going to be a hot mess until we get in there later to do the floor plan. But I'm going to try and carve out our little bridge in the front here. And this could also have like doorways as well. Like we could put one door on this wall, one door on this wall so that the twins could like enter each other's house. And then this could maybe be the halfway point. So like we could section it off like this and like this. And those can be the only walls that will like stay separating the entire house. That way each twin is going to have their own like wing. I told you strap up. This is going to be a real extra build. <laughs> so there we go. All of that is split. We're going to be able to do two kitchens, two bedrooms. Well, more than two bedrooms, definitely. But you get the point. Two fully furnished homes. Okay, so we're going to bring this up front, matching the ones that we've got in the back for our bridge. And then I also kind of want to do something in the front here along those lines too. Like maybe I can bring this out and we can get those archways going at the front. This is going to be kind of just maybe for design purposes. We could do like a small little like seating area in there or something. And I want to bring this out a little bit further so that I can put an arch on both sides here too. <laughs> this shell is such a mess right now. I'm going to have to clean it up. We're going to center these. Roofing is going to be an absolute nightmare. So I think I'm going to try and play around with this. Just clean it up a little bit. Okay. I've been playing around with it a little bit. This is how my shell is looking like right now. I went in and added some like different shapes to my balcony. Like I really like how these ones look. I tried to avoid adding that to the top floor though, because I don't want to roof that. <laughs> my roofing is already going to be a big nightmare. So my balconies kind of look like that. That's a good way I find to add like different shapes without having to deal with roofing those shapes, <laughs> especially when we're doing three floors. So I think what we're going to do before we jump into roofing is we're going to add our fence, which I've been using this one from Discovery University. And I'm just going to start to try and visualize what this is going to look like with those balconies. So we're going to add our fence to every single piece here. <laughs> I guess this is going to be a kind of more of like a Sims 4 build in real time with me because the other ones I was starting to have to skip ahead like quite a bit in order to keep everything in one video. And the way that I like to do my videos, I don't like to do like the whole speed build thing. I just, it's not really my style and like what I like to do. So this way you guys are going to see all the details. Just like when we did the multi-million dollar mansion series together, this is going to be kind of like that. So I have my fences in place. I think we're going to start to try and roof it and just like get this over with. Why are you floating? Let's start on this side and we'll make our way around. So I'm going to start off with this one using a gabled roof. I'm going to go in and try and just see the shapes that are happening here. So I'm going to start here, bring this across and then bring that up to the front. And I think right off the bat, the first roofing piece that I'm placing, I'm going to bring it up by three ticks. And I think also just so it doesn't get messy, I'm going to bring these in. I might actually bring them back out later on, but I think this might just help me a little bit. So I've got a piece there. I'm going to copy that piece and bring that over here and then adjust it to meet just this tiny little like space there. So it's going to be a different height, but we've still got that angle because we've already adjusted it. And then for these pieces, what I'm thinking is we could go in with like a gabled roof piece, bring that in so it's only covering that one little side and then lower it and bring in the little adjusters as well. And I think that might look kind of cool. Maybe I'll put those on all of these little like bump outs that we've got. Then I can bring this piece down below and just like that, we've got our first roofing pieces. This part might look a little flat to me, so I'm just going to copy that and bring that here. And maybe I can bring that all the way over to like this side. And I guess add some columns. I don't want to jump too far ahead, but just so that I know that this is going to be held up by something. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring this piece over and we're going to cover this square here and that's going to look cool with that little like dip in there. And then for this part, Part, I might actually bring this over and then bring this further out. Oh God, what's happening? As soon as something goes wrong, it's all going to crumble. So we really need to be careful here. We're going to get those columns in there. These are from Discover University. So that's half.
half of it. We're gonna turn around this way. I'm gonna bring, I think the smaller one and then turn it. I'm just gonna put it on this shape here and bring it all the way across. Oh no, we need to adjust. Okay, that's looking good like that, I guess. I'm gonna bring this part all the way up here cause I'd rather roof it up top. So I'm gonna again, copy and paste. These are just gonna be small little like window bump outs here. So I'm gonna just like connect those and bring them around to the back as well. That's looking good. I'm gonna have to like bring this into there as well. And then for this back part, I have these little bump outs again. So I'm gonna take those half gabled roof pieces, add those onto there. And now I just have two more pieces to go. Honestly, once we get this roofing done, this build is gonna be a piece of cake. <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> the exterior. I'm like getting way too excited here. Let's add that there. I'm gonna bring it in just to keep it clean and we're gonna do our final roof piece there. I think that looks cute for now. I think what I'm gonna do is add the rest of my columns where I know they need to be. So I know we're gonna need one here and one here. This I think could even be an entryway right there. So maybe I'll add like columns here and then I'll remember that little entry area blocking it off with like a fence. Actually that works out great cause that could be entry to the one side and then right here or something could be the entry to the other. So maybe I'll put like a door there and a door there again, just so I don't forget where we're going. I'm gonna add the thickest trim option to all of these pieces. I feel like the house is big enough that I can get away with that really thick trim. And then when you do that, you kind of like find little mistakes as well. So I'm gonna just like bring this in a little bit, polish it up, you know. And before I go any further, I think I would prefer if these were out a little bit. So I'm clicking on my roof and I'm gonna bring out the adjusters just because I think I prefer a little bit of an overhang. I hope we did it. I feel like proud of myself when I finish a shell like this. I really like how the museum ended up looking. That build over there, that was the $1.5 million museum we did. I'm gonna add that same roof paint on here, but I think I'm gonna add another one, like maybe a similar color like this one here. And that can go on just like these little half gabled roof pieces, like these ones maybe, even the side ones, just to add a little bit of dimension. While we're at it, I'm gonna add my archways onto the bridge back here here too. So all of this is going to have archways on basically the entire thing. I think this could either look really good or really dumb. <laughs> We're going to find out. So just all the way along this thing, evenly spacing it if I can. And then I'm also going to be putting them along the back, just in the same position that they are in the front. Yeah. We're going to have to see about that, I think, but let's raise this up. I want to raise this up on a foundation. Oh no, my build is broken. We already have issues. Why is that happening? I'm wondering if it's maybe because of my bridge. Like what if I like poke a hole in the bridge. Is that gonna save my foundation? Yes. Why is that a thing? We're gonna have to get a little bit glitchy with this bridge because I don't want to sacrifice it. So maybe what I'll do is like poke out some of the walls like in between here and we can cover it up with vines. I feel like part of my job in The Sims is like covering up mistakes that are already here from The Sims. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. We're gonna have to cover that up later. But now that we're up on a foundation, we can start to build out our front patio. So I'm gonna just build this out like maybe this way here. We're gonna need some Something leading up to the bridge so maybe this can kind of poke out like that. We already have our area for that second door and then in the back here we're gonna need exits as well so maybe I'll just do like a little balcony like that. We're not gonna have a whole lot of room in this backyard are we? And then the bridge of course is gonna have to go all the way along like that. Yeah we really don't have room for the backyard. Maybe these twins don't go outside all that often. Can relate. I'm gonna start to add my stairs going through so I think that would look really cool if we brought it all the way across. Also so expensive, which is perfect. We can't forget our goal here is to be spending a lot of money. <laughs> Maybe we get some stairs in the front here. I can bring these across like that and we'll do one more over here. Let's get some wallpaper. Again, gonna have to aim for something expensive for this exterior. So let's see if we can find, this isn't the priciest, but this is kind of something that I might be going for. I like this color. I like the dark brown that I used on the museum back there. So maybe we can go in with this. I'm basically just like clicking all over the place. Like when the build can it's too big. It's a lot easier to just like click all over. So this is gonna be our base for now. And then later, depending on what we do with the rest of the exterior, we can go in with different colors. But for now, I'm gonna keep it all one just to keep it kind of like easy. I think we could probably at this point add our trim too. So I wanna add a pretty big one. This one I really like on bigger builds. So I'm gonna put that all along the bottom floor, probably all along the bridge too. Oh, that's gonna help us hide that little area. Do I also want this on the top floor? Maybe I'll put it there as well. And then for any other remaining parts, I'm gonna go in with this smaller one that still matches. So I'm gonna put that along like the balconies. I'm gonna add my foundation paint because we still haven't done that. Again, just click, 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 click all over the place. Oh, we can also do that roofing trick that 
that I showed you guys in the last video because I want trim to be on this little balcony here. So I'm just gonna build a room underneath my roof and now I can easily add that trim on there with no problems at all. I'm probably gonna do that to a few different spots here. I'm gonna add multiple chimneys on here, like two at a time. <laughs> I think it would also look kind of cute with like these slender ones from Get Together. Maybe we can do like a couple of those over here. Okay, so let's start to find our windows. This is gonna be tricky because I have all different wall heights. Literally on every floor is a different wall height here. So let's start off with these ones. I used these on the museum and I really liked how they looked. So I think bottom floor is mostly gonna get these. So all the way around the side, that area there looks kind of good. And then in the back, any area where there's like an open spot, I'm gonna put a big window. I'm gonna be putting the marbled walk flooring pretty much anywhere that I can at this point. How have we still not even spent 100K? Oh my God. Okay, middle floor. Let's see what we got for that. I'm thinking maybe Romantic Garden has some nice windows we could use. Like these ones I think are really nice. So I'm gonna put those around. Maybe I can just kind of like put them here. This tree right here is really starting to get on my nerves. I hate how you can't move things that are literally in your way when you're building. Okay, wait, I'm gonna get carried away for a sec. I need to finish my windows. But like, that looks so cool. Okay, windows, windows. We're gonna spend so much money on windows, I tell you. And then for the top floor, I'm thinking we could go in with like an alternate Discover University one. And again, the outside of this house is going to be kind of like older looking, but the inside, keep in mind, we're gonna be building for teens. So I want it to be like modern in there. I want everything to be designer and fancy looking, but also tailored to teens. So that's gonna be a challenge in itself. We'll get a door there that's from Cats and Dogs. I'm gonna put the same door on this one just to keep it the same. I actually think these doors look really nice with it. Any empty space that I have, like I still have a lot going on. I wanna add vines. There's gonna be vines going up this thing. Okay, windows, doors, everything is done. Now I think it's time for us to start landscaping. Around the back, I've got all my windows placed. This looks crazy. So I think first thing I'm gonna do is start to add the vines on the side and also I need to catch you guys up on my moving situation because in the last Bloomcrest build video I kind of told you guys that I was looking for a place to move. We are currently looking for a house. It has been the most stressful thing you guys oh my goodness I also went to New York I've been busy but my trip was really fun it was really great to get away I went with my mom we had a lovely time but I also mentioned that my boyfriend was going to see a house without me while I was gone and it didn't work out we're not gonna be going to that one but we do have another one that they ended up seeing instead of that one like they saw the first house and Chris said no then they went to another one and this second house was apparently at like Perfect. So we're waiting until Friday to figure out what's going on with that. So fingers crossed that we get it. Hopefully we can be out of here soon into a new office. And I know too, a lot of you guys, a lot of my fellow Canadians actually have been like, good luck. The market is horrible. It's awful. Like, I know, trust me, we are definitely renting. We are not looking to buy at this time. It's crazy. <laughs> it's literally insane. Like it's bad. So we're kind of just looking for a place to go just for like a year or so until we can actually buy buy something, but it's not looking like we're going to be able to do that anytime soon. So for example, I don't know what the market is like where you guys live. Obviously it's all going to be different, but here in Canada, it's literally like a crisis. <laughs> At least in Ontario, it's ridiculous. Like for example, let's say you wanted to buy like a decent starter home, a decent, like, you know, one bedroom, whatever, kind of like bungalow thing. A little while ago, that would have been like maybe four or 500 K that you're looking at for a house. Now you, you, that would get you literally nothing. That would get you a shack. You would probably have to spend more than that on renovations to be able to live there. Like it's very, very bad, but we want to get out of here so bad that we're considering renting. So that is the current situation that we're in renting, looking for a house to rent, which I got to say is equally as freaking difficult. I know that I have a few people in my community, like around my age that might be like dealing with this same kind of problem. So I just wanted to rant for a second to you guys about how hard it is to find housing as a millennial. I feel y'all, trust me. And good luck if you're out there doing the same thing as I am because it really be rough out here. <laughs> it's also hard too because you see people like your age or like even people on social media that are like, I just got my new house and I'm so excited. And it just, it seems so easy. Like not saying 
that it's, you know, not exciting. It's so exciting for them, but it's just not as easy as it might seem. So as far as landscaping goes here, I'm basically just going to be like adding fencing going around. I might even add like dirt flooring just to rack that money up. Like I literally think I'm going to go in with this and then cover this up even with plants. I'm so desperate at this point, but I think we're going to leave it at that today. I'm going to finish up the landscaping, show you guys what I'm done. And then in the next video, we are going to do the interior of this. So after finishing the exterior, this is what we've got for our $2 million home in The Sims 4. This is freaking massive. This is such a project that we're taking on here, guys. Let me just show you some of the details that I added off camera. So we've got our garden in here. Our landscaping turned out really cute. Each balcony, I just added just some basic stuff for now because I don't really know what our style is going to be yet, what the interior is going to be like. So we've just got some seating areas out here, a woodworking table. I managed to fix that area by adding columns here and that did the trick with our foundation issue earlier. So this is what that looks like. I added this wishing well back here, which is 7,000 simoleons. There are little doors in there for our bridge as well. I have an easel out here, another seating area on our balcony there. And then in the back, we really didn't have too much room for our yard. So what I did, I did a little pool, some loungers in there, some landscaping. We also have a barbecue in there, but again, not a whole lot of room back here. I have one more balcony in the back there just with like a little chess table. And then around the front on this balcony, I added a dining table area. I added a bar. And yeah, this is what we're working with right now at the moment. This is what it looks like with different lighting. This thing is freaking huge. And of course, our home is split right down the middle. So in the next episode, we are going to have to furnish both sides of this thing, one for Violet and one for Ash. And that is where we're going to have to leave it for today. I hope you guys like this video. This is going to be on the gallery when we finish it under City Macaretta. You can find all of the Bloomcrest builds under that EA gallery ID as well. If you guys like this video and this series, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you to Odia for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.